Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about the Allegro PCB Designer team design option. Um, but setting up partition areas uh, that are controlled from a layer point of view. So you've seen another, another video about how to create a workflow and how to create partitions to kind of design, split the design up so different designers can work on different sections of the PCB. Um, we could take this to the next level effectively by using, if we use the design partition option to create some partitions, and I'm just going to add a rectangle um, and we'll just do a section here for the memory. And let's just do memory top. Um, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say he can work effectively on the, on the top layer and he can work all the way down to effectively inner layer one. Let's just apply that and then what we'll do is we'll add another rectangle. Similar kind of area. So you can see I obviously get an overlap here. But this time what I'm going to say is this is going to be called memory bottom. So he's effectively going to be able to work on inner layer two down to the bottom. If I hit apply now, the overlap goes away. If we then go to the workflow manager, you can see effectively I've got a memory top and a memory bottom. So let's open the memory bottom and we'll export that, sorry. So let's just uh, go and export that. That then exports the file. And if we then go file and open, and we'll open the memory bottom section. Now from a routing point of view, I can route, so let's double click and add a via. If I wanted to drop and try and get a via to the top, all I can go is go as, I can go as far as inner layer two because that's the restriction that I've got. So from that point of view, you can kind of split the sections of the boards up so layers can work on if they're doing some blind and buried vias, maybe on the top two or three layers, they're trying to fan out the BGAs, somebody else can carry on with, with routing on once they've got past that section. 